People hate discomfort because you're always battling. We have this yin and this yang in us. Our body wants to survive, our brain wants to develop. This push and pull, but you can't have light without darkness. Living and dying are actually the same thing. respect-based. Respect isn't just something that's given, it's earned. At the end of the day, if you are consistent with your actions, you get something that money can't buy. I think to develop grit, you have to throw yourself in uncertain situations. Challenging yourself to learn new things all the time. And you do it again, and you do it again, and again. feel better after it and you build confidence, you build self-respect. It's like how bad do you want to be better? We see a big herd of deer, but they just smelled our footprints. So I'm hoping it pushes this way. There's a giant in there. I got this world that's coming at me from a lot of directions. I'm a professional surfer. I do three months a year of stunt work. And then obviously being a co-founder of Protect is a huge part of my professional life now. I'm jumping on planes, I'm going places. I know at least with myself, I only have so much bandwidth, physically and mentally. So I need to be realistic about that. trying to overlap all of these things without letting anybody down. I like switching gears and going into different roles. Making them all overlap in the right way, that's a tricky part. So I'm trying to be present with my daughter when I'm with her. So I need certain baselines and routines so I know that I'm feeling better. Get ready to go to the moon, honey. Before having my daughter, I already knew I was selfish. Are you ready? <laughs> But knowing just how selfish I was, you learn that when somebody completely counts on you. Daddy, look, I have one feet on the table. What, you're not supposed to have feet on the table? <laughs> it's not all about you all the time. In fact, most of the time, it's not about you. This is a place called Fiji. We'll go there one day. Where's Fiji? What you have to do is completely focus and master the one thing that you have under your control. There's a lot of things I can't forecast in it, so if I set a foundation of something that I can control consistently, it helps me with my confidence going forward. It helps me feel better and, and feel more prepared. Step on here, okay? And especially now that I'm a father, I mean, that's priority number one for me. Yeah. Good job.
the interesting thing, especially that I appreciate these days, is the baseline of health, how much it affects your clarity and your ability to make rational decisions to physically perform better. My advice, especially to my daughter, would be learn by doing. You just have to start. You can't wait for everything to be perfect. You have to go. You can't help others if you can't help yourself. It's a win all around to set up these foundations. You feel better, you achieve more of your goals, and you can be a help to other people. Preparation and taking care of myself is a big part of that. It's a responsibility that is undeniable at this point in life. <laughs>